How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff with I Download Blog. I want to showcase an upcoming jailbreak tweak. It is called Pod Switcher, and you can access it via the app switcher here. You see the Pod Switcher little shortcut. All you do is you tap that little Pod Switcher button, which is a little difficult to tap, but we can do it. Here, let's just tap that. And there you go. That loads up the interface. And as you see there, you have the songs, albums, artists, playlists. You have music controls. You have Twitter. You have uh, lyrics, lots of different things. You have the cover flow here. Um, so let's go through each of these sections here. Albums. So it sorts it by album. Artist. And this is all the music contained in your music app. Uh, you can see it's a little on the choppy side with the, some of the animations. You can switch animations as well, so we'll talk about that. Playing a, a track is as, easily, is as easy as tapping the song or the album. If you tap the album, it'll actually start playing the entire album. If you tap the song, it'll play the individual song. You have your controls down here. You can swipe over to review, reveal more information about the particular song in question that you're playing. You also have some additional controls here at the bottom. Notice the rewind and fast forward buttons. This rewind button is really hard to tap and I find myself tapping it over and over again. Eventually you will get it and it'll just basically, as you see there, the scrubber is just rewinding back to the beginning of the song. So this actually doesn't skip or go back to a previous track. It is only for the currently playing song that is playing. So uh, there's no skip or forward. You actually have to tap this song, uh, the album art above in order to do that. You have some basic shuffle and um, looping options there as well. You have the tweet, which you can tweet your nail playing song, which is really nice. I'll just do that right now. The only thing I don't like about that is it closes out the interface. I wish it would stay in the interface, but unfortunately it doesn't at this moment. But again, this tweak is in development. And let's tap the pod switcher button again. All right, so there we go. And you also have lyrics. I don't have any lyrics embedded in this song. You can dismiss that nice little animation there. Let's tap that again. So that is basically the full scope of Pod Switcher, which you're going to find here. There are some animations that I talked talked about earlier, and if you go into your settings app in the Pod Switcher section, you can find some of those settings here. There's a kill switch. If I disable that, it immediately no respring required disables or re-enables Pod Switcher depending on your preference. And the animations, like I was saying, they're about six or so animations here. You have the cover flow, linear cylinder, rotary, time machine, and wheel. And you can see there is the wheel. I really like the wheel. It's really cool, especially navigating this with one hand. It's awesome, uh, that wheel animation there. So you can switch those animations on the fly, as you saw. I'm going to go to rotary or time machine. Let's try out rotary. I'm going to switch the background darkness all the way down. Just tone it down. And you can see it's basically a white background now. There is the rotary animation. And if I go back here and dial my darkness all the way up, you can see it's basically just a black background there as well. So we can switch that back into the middle and get some balance there. Let's change up the animation again. Uh, Pod Switcher, it must be noted that the developer is working on integrating this with Spotify as well. Because if you're like me, you don't use the music app a lot. I use Spotify more than the music app. So that will be a welcome addition, Spotify support for Pod Switcher. So let me know what you guys think about Pod Switcher in the comment section below. Again, it is still being worked on, but once it does drop, it will drop for $1.49 on Cydia. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.